Smartphone Republic here, and today we are going to be reviewing the iOcean X8. iOcean are a new Chinese manufacturing company who just started making smartphones ever since May. So they have a lot to learn because this device, the iOcean X8, is a mixed bag in my opinion. The hardware, it looks like the Sony Xperia Z and the iPhone 4 mixed. It has a nice aluminum band around the phone, piano black on front and back and it has a nice feel to it in terms of hardware this thing is rocking an octa core 8 core a7 1.7 gigahertz um, CPU with 2 gigabytes of RAM 32 gigabytes of onboard storage 2650 milliamp battery a 14 megapixel back camera and a 5 megapixel front camera with a 1080p 5.5 5 inch 401 PPI display. It is running Android 4.2.2 um, Jelly Bean with iOcean's ROM on top of it, and you can customize the themes, so it's pretty good. However, I noticed lag in some places, so I think the KitKat update for this phone should come really soon. That will help improve speed. Hardware performance was also good with an N22 benchmark score of <laughs> and a Geekbench score of it has a respecter score of 2400, which is about the same as the Galaxy S5 um, and the iPhone 5S. And considering this is a phone which is well under $400, that's outstanding. Considering it's a 5.5 inch 1080p full HD smartphone with a PPI of over 400, I think we can agree that this is going to be a great viewing experience no matter who you are. It has great contrast, great black levels, great viewing angles and um, the saturation is also very nice. Which moves us on to the speakers. This phone is quite thin, measuring at only 6.9 millimeters. So, to have a phone this thin and this big, you'd expect a big battery, right? Wrong. This has a 26,050 milliamp battery, which doesn't last the whole day. I went around to I went to uni at around 8 a.m. Came back home, and this thing was dead on me at only around 5 p.m. So. If you're taking this somewhere, be sure to take a charger with you because it runs out of juice pretty quickly. And I think when the Android 4.4 KitKat update comes, that problem should fix. If you like listening to good quality music or loud music off your speaker or headphones, then I'm afraid to say that this phone is not for you. I've tested out the audio quality in both the headphone jack and the speakers of this phone, and it was absolutely terrible. It was tingy, it sounded terrible, and it's not that loud. As you can see, the speaker quality is pretty bad, and so is the audio from the headphones. I used I used one of the best um, in-ear headphones, and that still wasn't loud enough for me to just listen to my music properly. So if you like music, or you listen to, and or you consume media a lot on your phone, the screen will suffice, but definitely not the audio. 
Overall, I think the iOcean X8 is a good phone in some areas, such as, such as the display and the design. However, it compromises a lot by having a small, weak um, battery that drains really fast, a bad speaker, and a camera that takes very muddy photos, even though it's a 5 megapixel front. Some of the um, photos you can get with this thing are very noisy. It's quite honestly the worst I've seen for a 14 megapixel camera. Thanks guys, I hope you enjoyed my video and like, comment and subscribe for more.